Hi, my name is Ben and I'm a spiral trainer. In this video, we're going to see how Quickfire groups together similar answers. Let's launch a Quickfire. Let's launch a quick one. Okay, so here's the code that our students have to go to. Okay, I've also got a couple of other students that can join us. I'm using my phone to load up Jane and Doug. Okay, and here they appear. So let's launch this quick fire. Let's press go. So the question is, is Spiral great? And I want a yes or a no answer. So I'm actually going to put the question in here. Okay, and the students can answer yes. Or no. Let's see what happens. Okay, let's show answers. We can see that everyone's answered, but some of them are similar. We've only got two different answers. What's happened? Well, as you can see, two people answered yes. That's great. We can enlarge that and see who answered yes. Well done. But this is interesting as well. Why doesn't someone think that Spiral is great? Well, what I'd like is for them to expand on their answer. Here I get a post on my phone that the teacher would like the answer to improve. Let's see what we have to say. Ah, so now we know that they're not sure that Spiral is great because we haven't tried it in full yet. That's really interesting. That's also a good answer. So that's how Spiral groups together similar answers. And when you type yes, yes with lowercase or an uppercase will all be grouped under the same answer. And the interesting thing to do then is to ask for certain answers to then be expanded upon so you can get to the bottom of it. And that's how Spiral groups together similar answers. Now you can do this with yes, no questions, or you could do it on a scale. So on a scale of one to five is Spiral great. And then group the answers together and ask perhaps the ones why they thought it wasn't or what really makes, what are the best features from the fives. We'll finish there. And here in the report section, you can see the breakdown of the answers. Thank you.